Good morning, Hero Wars fans. My guild Gravity chose to fight a level 150 boss at Asgard last weekend, and if my guild could not beat the level 150 Ash, we would not receive any rewards for the weekend. This is bad, this is bad, every time our guild starts at level 130 Battle of Ash and manages to beat it all the way to level 140 Ash, but this is the first time we're starting at level 150 Battle of Ash. I watched my guild mates fight Ash, and as of Saturday, Asha's remaining health at level 150 was listed at 51 million health. Most of the leading members of the guild had already attacked, and Sunday morning arrived with only two guildmates left who could do significant damage to Ash. As a result, we were able to successfully take down a level 150 Ash and got a lot of rewards, but it was a reminder that we need to constantly check the level settings of guild raid. Phew, that was close. Since Friday, a few guildmates were wondering if we could beat Ash, and I was nervous too. Now, here's the main part of the story. This image shows a list of guildmates who are able to do the most damage against Ush. These guildmates are the mainstay members of Gravity, who are also active in the daily guild war. In this video, I will analyze how these six guildmates competed in the battle of Ush, and I will discuss one conclusion that was drawn as a result. First, let's look at Parashki's information. The Isaac tank team composition did the most damage in the Battle of Osh, with 82% of the damage Parashki did to Osh being done by the Isaac tank alone. Next, we look at Akira's information and see that, like Parashki, a team composition of Isaac tank alone did 92% of the damage that Akira did to Osh. Third, we look at Chiffon Cake's information, and we see that he, too, has earned 90% of the damage done to Osh with Isaac tank's team composition. The fourth one is Deco's information, which shows that he also earned 83% of the damage done to Ash by Deco's Isaac team alone. In the case of Hara 88, as with the previous four, the Isaac tank team composition alone accounted for 87% of the damage done to Ash by Hara 88, while the other four team compositions only accounted for 13% of the damage done to Ash by Hara 88. Lastly, Maru used Helios as her team composition for the Isaac tank. Maru has Helios instead of Sebastian, but Maru's Isaac team also did 96% of the damage that she did to Ash. This Isaac team of 6 guildmates alone can be summarized in one document. In other words, when considering only the weekend battle of Ash, it would be most efficient to raise only the team composition of Isaac, Ju, Nebula, Sebastian, Martha, and Albus to get the highest score. The more resources you can get from guild raid, the better. So guilds that can defeat higher level Ush in weekend boss fights will have an advantage. When training heroes for the sole purpose of defeating Ush, whose level is higher than that of rival guilds during weekend guild wars, this verification revealed that it is more efficient to focus on Isaac, Ju, Nebula, Sebastian, Martha, and Albus. If you are aiming for good results in guild raid, a shortcut to the battle of Ush is to concentrate on training the Isaac team first rather than spending resources to create 5 team compositions for 25 heroes. Also, as this image shows, simply raising an Isaac team is a very good way to get a high score. Conversely, no matter how many heroes you raise outside of the Isaac team, you will not earn that many points in Battle of Osh. As a point of reference, all 6 players in the data presented here only played against level 150 Osh, so there is no difference in difficulty level depending on the level of Osh. We hope you will share this video with your guild. By the way, how was your battle of Osh? My damage to Osh was 1% of the entire guild. As a guild master, I feel that I need to work a little harder, but my guild mates have never complained about this. I think this is another episode that proves how well received I am. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.